Hey there, and welcome back to my art channel. Today, I wanna to talk about something a little bit different, but um, we're gonna be talking about clutter in the workspace. Being an artist and having a desk full of stuff, clutter is kind of unavoidable. Also, I wanna say Kepler's just been muted and he's feeling super sorry for himself today. Bless him, he's got the cone of shame. Okay, but before we move on, a little bit of shameless self promo. I've actually finally released some merch. I'm just showing off here my trippy kitty tee. I'm not sure where that pose came from. <laughs> let's pretend it didn't happen. All right, so let's get on with decluttering. So first I'm gonna start off with the easy stuff and it's just putting the stuff that has an obvious home. So I'm gonna start tidying away some cables. Like you can see my microphone's on my desk and it doesn't need to be there at this present point in time. So I'm just gonna wrap the cables up and put it to the side on the drawers that I have beside my desk. I just ask myself, does this need to be here right now? Is it bringing me joy? And if the answer's no, then I'm gonna put it away. But obviously it's still in an area that's very accessible to me. I mean, I should probably do this more often than I do, but it is important to keep our desks a sanitary place to be, especially in the light of current events with COVID. I'm just taking an eco cleaner and I'm just gonna give some surfaces a wipe down. Also, I'd like to note, never spray uh, cleaning stuff directly on tech. I always put a very small amount on a cloth or a sheet of microfiber fabric and give it a wipe down. So I'm just gonna start to like organize the stuff that I actually want to keep on my desk. Don't get me wrong, clutter isn't necessarily a bad thing. Some clutter is absolutely necessary, but the, the problem arises when the clutter has gotten so bad and you've avoided it for so long that actually sitting at your desk becomes more of a chore. It's like you don't wanna work there because it's an unpleasant environment to be in. My problem is that I judge myself and I beat myself up when my desk gets to this state. Just looking at it makes me annoyed that I let it get that bad in the first place. It can become super overwhelming. So I'm here today to tell you as a person with clutter on their desk, do not beat yourself up, be nice to yourself, but I'm here to tell you, you can deal with this you can help yourself be more comfortable and be more productive. I've decorated it with some string lights. I also keep some collectibles on my desk. I have some on the shelf opposite me, but I like to rotate them every so often. It's nice to look up from my desk and see the things that inspired me as a kid to draw and be grateful of where I am today. I also really like to have at least one real plant on my desk. Also, like I mentioned earlier, I have a collection of, I, I tend to keep all of my arty books and a few other books uh, near my desk so that I can reach out for any inspiration. And these include comics and art resources, art guides, all of my old animation books. Another thing that's important for me with the way my brain works is to have a to-do list. I always write too much. So I've got this humorous little notepad that reminds me to keep things to a minimal. I also like to keep a, a regular notebook near my desk. My brain, unfortunately, is incredibly busy all the time. To get it out of my head and out of the way so I'm not afraid that I'll forget about it, I just make a note of it. Also, bad habit check. I'm not afraid to say this because I think, in being honest, I'm doing justice to people that also suffer with these kinds of things. I have a bad habit of skin picking. I don't know whether it's anxiety or boredom, but what I found as a kind of remedy for that is I bought some like silicone caps for your fingers and it, mostly guitar players wear them. It puts a little bit of a barrier between me and my skin or the hair I want to play with. And it just gives me that fraction of a second to realize, oh, actually, I don't want to do this. I don't want to touch that. So I think the desk is uh, just looking a lot better in there. The only thing is that doesn't necessarily stop clutter from accumulating anywhere else in the house. But most importantly, Cap is feeling a lot better. He's back to his peppy self. He's looking adorable. He's a very happy boy. Look at him smile. So now I can actually sit down and I'm relatively ready to work. Considering the fact that my space isn't subconsciously f making me feel anxious, uh, I can actually sit down and think, hey, this is, this is a nice space to work. I'm cool with this. Uh, what is with that sassy pose? Don't know what I was going for there. You can all laugh at me together. Cheers for watching. If you're interested in everything I do, you can follow the links in the description. I have the links to my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and my main channel, Amy Right Meow. Also, like I mentioned in the video earlier, I have some cool merch out. It would be wonderful if you could check that out and help support me and the channel. Also, if you're interested in being part of my Patreon, my upper tier 
can get involved with art challenges that I do on this channel specifically, and I'm going to be planning one for next week. Check it out and see if you want to be involved. Alright, see you next time. Bye!